Welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 19 and verse 6. Let's read it. Verse 6. And, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the sons of Israel. So I've kind of broken this down. We're just taking in small chunks because there's a lot in each chunk here today. God has brought his people out of Egypt. He's brought them through. Now they are at the foot of the Mount Sinai. There they are. We're, we're, on the, we're ready here. We're not. The Ten Commandments are very close. And he's going to, he's offering them, I want you to be in a covenant relation with me. And we talked about that the last morning or two. But let's look at this verse 6. God says, if you do these things, you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Now, this idea that, you know, uh, priesthood of all believers is some weird New Testament thing or just a weird idea that uh, Martin Luther had 500 years ago. Well, here it is, sort of like way before that. This is the second book of the Bible, after all. We're going back thousands of years and God's plan for his people back then, way back then, you will be a kingdom of priests to me, okay? So this is not a new idea. Luther did not just think this up or pull it out of a hat. This goes all the way back here. God is looking for a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Now, there's a parallel there. What is this kingdom of priests and holy? He's talking about a people who are holy, and we've said it many times. You're probably tired of me saying it, but God designed you and I for holiness. Humans are made in God's image. God is holy. He wants us to be holy too. He says in other places, you shall be holy because as I am holy. So God is calling all of his people up high here, high on a high spiritual level. He's, he's expecting us to come up higher. And so then he finishes with, these are the things you're going to say to them. So go and tell them. And that's what you're going to have there. I want you to come back here and think about this God wants high and beautiful things and joyful things for you and I. And God's plan is not just to uh, drag us along by a rope and just we just barely get to the kingdom and treat us rough. God's plan is to bring us up higher. He wants us to walk with him and be uh, with him on the way. So he's calling us to really high things, and he's calling these people to come up higher. They're quibbling and moaning and all that, but he's, he's going to bring them up higher if they'll allow him to. The trouble you, always comes down to, though, what? We don't allow God to do what he wants to do. Instead, we, it, we introduce all these things in the way. We prevent him from doing the thing he wants. So special opportunities for us here. The God of heaven, he's a good God. He wants us uh, to come along in the right line. And so let's make sure we let him do what he wants to do. We'll say more about the covenant and things as we, as we keep on moving here. All right, see you tomorrow morning.